Today, I'm going to show you how to hang a coat rack. This one here. Now, know what you're thinking. Why would a dude like me go out and buy a piece of crap like this to hang it up? I mean, if I was going to do a coat rack, I mean, if I'm going to hang a coat rack, I'm going to make it. I'm going to go to the woods, chop down a tree, whittle that thing out from a big piece of wood down to this wood back here, and then these hooks. I'd probably melt something down and fire them in the pits of Mordor and make these hooks myself. Now, unfortunately, my wife doesn't want to wait a year for me to do that. So she opted to buy this coat rack. Now, not, not to mention if I made it myself, um, it would cost a lot more money than buying this all out of the store. It's not actually called a coat rack. It's called a 27 inch rail with five flared tri hooks. But if I put that on the title of YouTube, you would never find it. So today I'm going to show you how to hang this coat rack. The tools that you're going to need, first off, you're going to need a stud finder. Beep, 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 beep. You're going to need a level so that you can hang it straight. You're going to need a tape measure. Check this out. This one says mine. You're going to need a drill. And uh, I've got a 14 volt. Uh, I think I needed a 24 volt, but uh, this is all my wife would let me get. So you're going to need a drill. You're going to need a pencil as well. You're going to need some drill bits. Now, you only need one. Uh, either this size or this size. Doesn't matter. It all depends on the hardware you're using. Now, I've got some wall anchors. These are very strong, manly anchors. Uh, the stuff that comes out of the box is going to be kind of chintzy. Uh, I think they manufacture these and put them with the cheapest hardware you can possibly get. Uh, the reason they do that is so it falls out of the wall, then you got to hire a contractor, you got to run out and buy more hardware from the hardware store. I think it's a big ploy for Home Depot and Lowe's to make more money off of you. So you're going to need real hardware. All right, first things first, the tape measure is so that I can hang my coat rack level with this other fixture here. I can hang it here or here, it's going to look really bad. Not just that, this is for my kid's bathroom, so I can't put it too high up. So I'm going to level it with the top of this guy here. So I'll take my tape measure and go all the way up to the ceiling. And I'm going to measure out that uh, it's about 35 inches, uh, 35 and a quarter inches from the ceiling down is where this fixture starts. So I'm going to hang my coat rack to match that so it's visually appealing using big words. All right, so let's begin by taking this thing out of the box. Let's see what we got. Whoops. So uh, there's the screws that we got. Uh, these are fine toothed that came with it. These are not going to hold in sheetrock. There's no way that these are going to stay in. And uh, here's our coat rack. Let's take a look at that. Uh, there's the holes there to mount the hardware to bolt it to the wall. Again, we're not going to use the cheap screws that we just got. Um, so that's our coat rack. And um, one random screw. I don't know what that's for. So this came with absolutely no hardware. So just as I suspected, this coat rack came with the crappiest hardware ever. Check this out. These two screws, there's no way these screws are going to hold this on this wall. Now I'm pretty much guaranteed that one of my kids is going to swing from this thing thinking it's a pull-up bar or that he's at the Olympics and it's going to rip right out of the wall. My kid's going to fall on the floor, they're going to have to go to the emergency room, have to sew their head back up again, this thing's going to hit them. and. Uh, not only do I have to go to Home Depot to buy more hardware to fix my wall, now I'm going to take my kid to the emergency room to get stitches in their head, and then the social worker is going to show up and interview me because they think that I'm abusing my children. So skip the crappy hardware. That's why we got these bad boys, and we got these real screws here. Now these are coarse thread. They're a little silver, a little bit of paint covered right up, and uh, these are going to hold. Next steps. We're going to find out where we're going to mount this thing. And again, we're going to flush it with the top. Now the stud finder is so you can make sure that there's not a stud behind where you're putting these screws. You don't want to use a stud. We're not going to be mounting a TV or an appliance or a cabinet. We're mounting a coat rack or a towel rack in this instance. You don't want any studs because you've got the good hardware. This thing holds 75 pounds each. Now, I don't really know if it's actually 75 pounds, but it'll definitely hold one of my kids up if they decide to hang from this thing. We're going to use our tape measure, and we're going to measure 35 
and one quarter inches from the top, well I am, you're going to measure whatever your fixture is, but because my fixture starts at 35 and a half inches from the top, I am going to measure 35 and a quarter inches from the top, and I'm going to make a marking here at 35 and a quarter inches. And I'll do the same for the other side. 35 and a quarter inches. And I'm going to make a mark here. So these two marks will make sure that this is going to be level from the ceiling. Now, your ceiling may not always be level. You know, sometimes you get a little wonky when they're building your house. Construction workers like to drink a little bit of beer. When they're building my house, I found 24 packs all over the place, empty cans. You know, they were throwing down some good cumbia music and drinking beers. So my ceiling may not be level. That's where your level comes in. We're going to double check our 35 and a quarter inch measurement and we're going to verify that it's level. And according to this, it's not. So I'm going to make a minor adjustment and I'm going to level it out. It's about a couple millimeters. It's got to be exact. Now one word of caution. No matter how level that you make this, if you're a married man, I guarantee when your wife comes home, she's going to see this and say, well, that's crooked. And she's going to give you grief because you mounted it crooked. We're using a level, we're checking it against the ceiling, but she's still going to say that it's crooked. So what you need to do, if you can, is bring your wife in, show her that it's level with your level, make sure that she understands this is level, get her to sign off on it, and then mount it. And before you finalize that tighten screw, right before you tighten it on, bring her back in again and say, hey, look, is it still level? And if she says, hmm, I don't think it's level, you can pretend to make an adjustment while it's still loose, and you can just jimmy it a little bit, and then tighten it down, and she will have the satisfaction of knowing that thing is level, because I checked it myself. So that's a good tip. So now that we have our markings to level it out, and we've got it ready to go, we're gonna use the crappy old screw that came with it, not to mount it, but to make a little minor starter hole in the wall so that we know where we're gonna screw in the real anchors. We're gonna line it up with the lines that we drew, we're gonna make sure it's level, and we're gonna go ahead and, and make a small hole here. We're gonna make sure it's level, several times. There's one, and we're gonna repeat over here as well. There's my starter holes. So now I've got the drill bit on, and I'm ready to make my pilot holes for my wall anchors. There's one. And there's the other one. Now we're going to put our Phillips head bit back on. And we're going to install our real hardware, these guys. Now that we have our wall anchors in, the screws that we're going to use are going to hold up all the towels and a couple of kids. All right, so it's time to hang this bad boy up. Take my new screw. This is a beast screw with a coarse thread. We're going to work it into this piece of wood right here a little bit. Just to get it started. And we'll do the same with the other side. And get it started. That's so that we can find the anchors on the other side. We're going to line the screws up with the anchors. And then we're going to drill them in. There we go. We now have successfully installed our towel rack level with the other fixture, completely level and beast strong so your kids can hang from it. Good job. That looks ridiculous. You were supposed to take down the original bar, not have two bars side by side.